Guys, so today we're gonna do forward split. I don't have the perfect stretching because teachers didn't ask me to stretch, but in university I learned how to do this right, which moves to use when stretch, and that's what I'm doing right now with my students. So I will help you and try to do with me, try to spend time and stretch. Let's go. So before stretching, do some warm up like jumping jacks or run in place, kick your behind, burpee, whatever you want. Just make sure that your muscles are warm up. So for the first move, you need to straighten one leg and put one other leg on the side. Here, flex your toe. Make sure that your shoulder is looking forward. Straighten your arms and then lean forward. Try to stretch with your belly, don't curve inside. If you can go like far away, just stretch a little bit and stretch your spine. Curve it like that way. And after that, after you will stretch a bit, you will turn the backward leg that way, backwards, and you will push it backward, 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 turn it as far as you can and then you will stretch again. You can switch between flex and toes position, but flex usually help your ha hamstrings more. Uh, for the forward leg, we work on the stretching our hamstrings and for the backward leg, we work on stretching our thighs. And I will show only on the right leg, but make sure that you're doing on both legs. While stretching, I will put my video on time lapse. You can also go and stretch with me, listen to some music, watch some TV shows, or read some books, doesn't matter. Just try to relax and don't think about pain. Okay, let's go. So the next one is a forward fold. It's one of the most difficult for me. I used to hate it. You can go to the wall and put your foot like that. In this case, you're not gonna point them and gonna be in flex position. Just one thing, you need to check that you're not sitting like this, but you have a straight back. And then when you will feel that you're feeling fine, you can go like more forward. The next thing that you can do, you can bend your knees and hold your toes. And then when you're gonna straighten them, you're gonna try to keep uh, your chest as close as you can to your leg and still have straight legs and don't curve inside. If it's hard for you to hold your toes, you can hold your shin bones and um, also, other person can push you a little bit from behind if you have some uh, like person that can help you. After you sit in this pose for a while, you can relax your toes and stretch like that. And then you can relax even your head. Uh, just don't curve your back in the first place because um, we need to stretch our lower um, part of the back. and. We need to stretch with our belly and we also need to stretch our hamstrings. If we're gonna curve our back, there's gonna be enough impact on hamstrings. Um, okay, so let's do it with me. So for the next move, go to the deep lunge. Make sure that your forward leg creates in 90 degrees, not less. You stay on the flat foot and your knee opens a little bit to the side. Your backward knee is looking straight down, so don't rotate it outside and push your thigh down. What you can do here, you can push your thigh and bounce, then you can, if it hurts, you can, your knee hurts, you can wear a knee pad or knee sleeve, then you will bend the leg, you can hold it with the same arm, here still push your hip down and then you can bring your heel closer to the glute and still push, then you can rotate it and have the same action, bring your knee close to the glute but still don't pick up your hip like that, you're pushing it down. And then next, you roll your weight backward and stretch hamstrings here. Also, don't sit on the backward leg. Your backward leg on a great 90 degrees. And your forward leg, you stretch the hamstrings. But it's like for a little break. Try to concentrate here more on the thigh. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. 
and next you go to the pigeon pose you put your knee to the side here right now I put my weight on the right leg which is wrong I just want like to put the knee fully down what the next you're doing if it's hard for you to keep the one line you can bend it a little bit more and you put your weight between two legs so make sure that your backward leg is looking down then be careful here like don't go straight away down then pick up your back if it's hard for you to hold you can have some bricks like this in order like to hold your body sit in this position here you can lay down then stand up just don't open this hip then you bend this leg and you stretch the thigh again make sure that this hip is looking down not to the side here you can hold it around the with elbow and then around the head and stretch the thigh down and rotate it so let's try it so also you can stand up and and stretch your thigh like this standing on the one leg and switch or you can lay on your belly and also stretch your thigh okay so the next one we're going like you can say to the half split here you will you need some brick and you will put the lock on top also you can put some cushions here so what you need to do cushions need to be more for the forward lock and it's gonna be not easy to set up so what I'm usually doing I put this like on the side like this then I go it forward and here when you feel uncomfortable I need to move my brick forward yeah so I will put this cushion away that's for my that will give my hamstrings even more stretch and then I bend the knee and stretch it like this okay let's go and hold it so for the last move um, if you're not sitting like in a split or you're not close to the split wear a knee a pad or a knee sleeve also check that your hips are looking forward and you go to this position you can put like cushions a lot of cushions um, under your legs then make sure that your forward leg will be turned outside a little bit not inside and your backward leg will not be rotated forward also you can put some bricks some blocks on the side that you're not leaning forward so what you're going you're like sliding this one way the other way is going to the lunge and then forward like this fold then lunge and forward fold and kind of sliding here so for example, you're staying here and you feel that you start to rotate the backward leg. In this case, return a little bit higher and stretch to straighten your leg, but still keep everything square. So here you will sit for a while, check that you don't rotate your backward leg outside and forward leg inside. Then you will take cushions away if you able, like if you're not even in the split, try to just hold with your arms and then you can bend the backward leg, stretch even more your thighs. Let's do it. So what I can say, I can do split even better and I feel so sore and I feel so tired, but at the same time, very excited and very satisfied. I hope you liked my video. I hope it was helpful for you. Share this video with your friends, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and see you on my next videos. Bye bye!